Hello thinkers and dreamers, welcome back to the DreamRise YouTube channel where we dive deep into the world of ideas and knowledge. I'm ready to guide you through today's exploration, a comprehensive review and summary of the enlightening book, Clear Thinking. This gem is not just a book but a beacon of wisdom that transforms personal and professional lives by sharpening the mind. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare to embark on a journey of enlightenment as we delve into the chapters of Clear Thinking. Chapter 1 of Clear Thinking introduces us to the art of clear thinking. This art is not a natural talent but rather a cultivated skill, a discipline that requires practice and persistence. The chapter asserts the importance of clear thinking as a vital tool that can be utilized in nearly every aspect of our daily lives. From decision-making to problem-solving, clear thinking equips us with the ability to navigate the complexities of life with a higher degree of certainty. The book presents the principles behind clear thinking, outlining them as guidelines to follow in our quest for clarity. One of the key principles is to always question our assumptions. This is because our assumptions often color our perspective, potentially leading us down a path of flawed reasoning. By questioning our assumptions, we can ensure that our thinking is based on facts and not on preconceived notions. Another principle is to strive for simplicity. The book emphasizes that the simplest explanation is often the most accurate. This principle, known as Occam's Razor, encourages us to cut through the clutter of unnecessary complexities and focus on the essentials. The book also discusses the impact of clear thinking in our daily lives. It suggests that clear thinking can help us make better decisions, solve problems more efficiently, and communicate more effectively. The power of clear thinking extends beyond our personal lives. It plays a crucial role in the realms of business, politics, and science, where the ability to think clearly can often mean the difference between success and failure. The chapter concludes by highlighting that the journey to clear thinking is a continuous process. It isn't something we achieve overnight. It requires constant vigilance to guard against biases, fallacies, and other cognitive traps that can cloud our judgment. This chapter sets the tone for the rest of the book by emphasizing the value of clear thinking. The journey to clear thinking is not an easy one, but it's a journey well worth taking, so let's continue to explore this fascinating subject in the chapters to come. Chapter 2 dives into the obstacles that prevent us from thinking clearly. One of the most significant barriers to clear thinking is cognitive biases. These biases are essentially mental shortcuts or patterns of thought that can lead us astray. They're like optical illusions of the mind, distorting our perception of reality. Common biases include confirmation bias, where we favor information that confirms our existing beliefs, and the availability heuristic, where we rely on immediate examples that come to mind when evaluating a specific topic or decision. Another major obstacle to clear thinking is emotional interference. Our emotions can cloud our judgment and lead us to make decisions based on how we feel rather than what is logically sound. For example, fear can cause us to overestimate risks, while anger can make us more prone to aggression and less likely to consider the consequences of our actions. Then there's the obstacle of lack of information. Sometimes we simply don't have all the facts needed to make a clear-headed decision. This lack of information can lead us to make assumptions or jump to conclusions, both of which can hinder clear thinking. It's like trying to complete a puzzle with missing pieces. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to see the full picture. There's also the issue of information overload. In today's digital age, we're bombarded with more information than we can process. This excess of information can lead to decision paralysis, where we become so overwhelmed by options that we struggle to make a decision at all. Lastly, societal and peer pressures can also hinder clear thinking. We're often influenced by the opinions and expectations of others, which can cloud our judgment and lead us to make decisions that aren't in our best interest. Understanding these obstacles is the first step towards overcoming them and achieving clear thinking. Just as a hiker needs to know the terrain before setting out on a journey, we need to understand the obstacles that can impede our thought processes. By recognizing these barriers, we can start to navigate around them and pave the way towards clearer and more effective thinking. In chapters 3 and 4, the book offers practical strategies for clear thinking. These strategies are tools that can help us sift through the noise and find the signal. They are the compass that guides us through the forest of information overload, leading us towards the light of understanding. Firstly, we are encouraged to question our assumptions. 
Assumptions are the silent partners in our thinking process, often slipping under the radar and influencing our decisions and judgments. By bringing these assumptions into the light and questioning them, we can ensure that our thinking is grounded in reality, not in unexamined beliefs. Secondly, the book emphasizes the importance of seeking diverse perspectives. In our interconnected world, we have access to a vast array of viewpoints and experiences. By actively seeking out and considering these diverse perspectives, we can broaden our understanding and ensure that our thinking isn't limited by our own experiences and biases. Another strategy outlined in these chapters is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness in this context means being fully present and engaged in our thinking process. It's about noticing our thoughts, observing them without judgment, and steering them in a more productive direction when necessary. This kind of mental presence can help us avoid getting caught up in unhelpful thought patterns and keep our thinking clear and focused. Finally, the book encourages us to be patient with ourselves. Clear thinking isn't something that happens overnight. It's a skill that takes time to develop, and we will inevitably make mistakes along the way. But with patience and persistence, we can improve our thinking and make better decisions. These strategies empower us to navigate through the fog of confusion and reach the shores of clarity. They help us to rise above the noise and confusion and see the world with fresh, clear eyes. When we practice clear thinking, we can make better decisions, solve problems more effectively, and understand ourselves and the world around us more deeply. Chapter 5 explores the power and implications of clear thinking. Imagine a world where every decision you make is well thought out, every problem you face you tackle with an analytical mind, and the quality of your life is significantly improved. This isn't a fantasy but a reality that can be achieved through the power of clear thinking. Clear thinking is not just about seeing things as they are, it's about understanding the underlying patterns and principles that govern everything around us. It's about being able to cut through the noise and see the signal. It's about making sense of the complex and making the complex simple. When you hone the skill of clear thinking, you'll notice a significant improvement in your decision-making abilities. No longer will you be swayed by emotions or external influences. Instead, you'll be able to evaluate every option logically and make choices that align with your goals and values. Clear thinking also amplifies your problem-solving skills. When faced with a challenge, you'll be able to break it down into manageable parts, understand its root cause, and devise effective solutions. You'll stop treating symptoms and start eliminating problems at their source. But perhaps, the most profound impact of clear thinking is on the quality of your life. Clear thinking allows you to live intentionally. It helps you identify what truly matters to you, what your values are, and what kind of life you want to lead. It enables you to cut out the unnecessary, focus on the essential, and live a life of purpose and fulfillment. So, how can one cultivate this powerful skill? It starts with a commitment to learning, questioning, and seeking truth. It involves developing a critical eye, a curious mind, and a humble heart. It requires patience, perseverance, and a whole lot of practice. Clear thinking, in essence, is a superpower that can transform our lives. It's an ability that each one of us can develop, and once we do, there's no limit to what we can achieve. So let's embark on this journey of clear thinking together and witness the remarkable transformation it brings. The final chapter, chapter six, guides us through the practice of clear thinking. It's where the rubber meets the road, where we take everything we've learned so far and apply it in a practical, hands-on way. One of the most effective ways to cultivate clear thinking is through mindfulness exercises. It's all about being present and fully engaged in the here and now. It's about observing your thoughts without judgment and allowing them to flow freely. This practice not only helps to clear your mind, but it also enhances your ability to focus, to concentrate, and to make conscious, deliberate decisions. Next, we have critical reading. When we read, we often take in information passively. But clear thinking demands more from us. It asks us to engage with the text, to question it, to analyze it. It's not just about absorbing information, but about understanding it, interpreting it, and evaluating it. So the next time you pick up a book or an article, don't just skim through it. Take your time, dive deep into it, ask questions, seek answers. Then there's thoughtful conversation. This is where clear thinking really shines. It's not about winning arguments or proving your point. It's about understanding the other person's perspective, about finding common ground, about seeking truth. 
It's about listening, really listening and responding thoughtfully. It's about being open-minded and willing to change your mind when presented with compelling evidence. And finally, remember that clear thinking is not a destination, but a journey. It's not something you achieve once and then forget about. It's a continuous process, a lifelong quest, and like any quest, it has its challenges. But the rewards are worth it, so there you have it. Mindfulness exercises, critical reading, and thoughtful conversation. These are your tools, your weapons in the pursuit of clear thinking. Use them wisely, use them well. As with any skill, clear thinking requires practice and dedication. Having journeyed through the chapters of clear thinking, let's summarize the key takeaways. This book has taken us on a fascinating exploration of the mind, delving into the art and science of clear thinking. It's a journey that begins with understanding the very essence of clear thinking and gradually builds upon it, providing us with practical strategies to enhance our cognitive abilities. We started off by unraveling the art of clear thinking, which is the ability to reason logically and rationally. It's about making sense of complex situations, breaking them down into manageable parts, and making informed decisions based on evidence rather than assumptions or biases. Next, we encountered the obstacles that cloud our judgment and hinder clear thinking. These include cognitive biases, emotional influences, misinformation, and the ever-so-common problem of overthinking. Recognizing these barriers is the first step towards overcoming them. The subsequent chapters introduced us to a range of strategies designed to help us navigate these obstacles and cultivate clear thinking. These tools, which include critical questioning, active listening, and mindfulness, are not only practical but also universally applicable, whether it's in personal relationships, professional endeavors, or societal discourses. We then discovered the power that clear thinking can wield in our lives. It can lead to better decision-making, improve problem-solving abilities, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It's a skill that can transform the way we perceive and interact with our environment. Finally, we delved into the practice of clear thinking, which is a continuous process of learning, unlearning, and relearning. It requires patience, persistence, and a commitment to self-improvement. To sum up, Clear thinking is more than just a book, it's a guide, a toolkit, and a companion in our quest for clarity and understanding. It reminds us that clear thinking is not an innate talent, but a skill that can be nurtured and honed. With these tools, you are now equipped to navigate the world with a clearer, sharper mind. We've reached the end of our journey through clear thinking. This book, in its simplicity and profundity, has presented us with a beautiful roadmap to a more insightful and effective way of thinking and living. It has taken us through the art, the obstacles, the strategies, the power, and the practice of clear thinking, each chapter building upon the last to create a comprehensive guide for our minds. The art of clear thinking, as we've explored, is not just about being smart or educated. It's about being able to see the world as it is, not as we want it to be. It's about understanding our own biases and assumptions and learning to question them. It's about learning to be comfortable with uncertainty and making decisions based on evidence and reason rather than emotion or wishful thinking. The obstacles to clear thinking are many and often hidden. They include cognitive biases, logical fallacies, misinformation, and our own emotions and desires. But as we've learned, these obstacles are not insurmountable. With awareness, practice, and a commitment to truth, we can learn to overcome them. The strategies for clear thinking are tools we can use to navigate the complex and often confusing world of information and ideas. They include critical thinking, logical reasoning, evidence-based decision-making, and mindfulness. Each of these strategies is a powerful tool in its own right, and together they form a formidable arsenal for the clear thinker. The power of clear thinking is not just in its ability to help us make better decisions and solve problems more effectively. It's in its ability to free us from the shackles of ignorance, misinformation, and bias. It's in its ability to empower us to live more thoughtful, purposeful, and fulfilling lives. The practice of clear thinking is a lifelong journey. It's not something we achieve and then forget about. It's something we strive for every day, in every decision we make, in every conversation we have, in every piece of information we consume. It's a commitment to truth, to understanding, to growth. And so, as we conclude this journey, I encourage each one of you to take these principles to heart. Apply them in your lives. Strive to be clear thinkers and to foster clear thinking in those around you. 
Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found this video helpful, please share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to DreamRise for more insightful videos. Keep thinking clearly and dreaming big.